Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, this is a head to toe workout. It's gonna be all strength based and we're gonna hit all of the muscles in the body today. I'm gonna make this a no repeat so it's fun and fast. And your format will be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today and you can see right below here the dumbbells that I will use in today's workout. All right, we'll start you with a warm up. we'll end with a cool down. Are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. All right, let's put strength on the watch and warm things up here. Front and back bends to start. Oh yeah, a few crack cracks to wake everything up. You know you're getting old when. <laughs> I actually used to train this client who was so clicky. Uh, let's do some heel sweeps. Uh, everything she did, she would crack, crack, click, click, click. And it actually made me kind of nauseous. <laughs> like sick to my stomach hearing her click click and clack clack and now that's me so that's nice <laughs> goes around comes around trace all right take it wide and open in the chest good stay wide and touch your toes Last one here, let's go into a squat with a roundhouse, so feet shoulder width, a little squat, nice sweep right there. Last here. Reach across and tap. <clears throat> Up and over here. I'm gonna just do an arm circle right here, hinge at the waist. Switch directions. Switch sides. Switch directions. Good, holding on to something. Knee is soft, we're just gonna swing back for 15 per leg. Five more on this side. Just warming up the glute and the lower back a little bit. Good, switch sides and kick it. Five more here. Well, let's just finish off with some knee grabs. Up and stretch, switch, and switch. One more each side, and switch. All right, are you ready to start? There's the start of the circuit. I'm starting at the top of the body with shoulders. I'm gonna do a single, single, double military press. I'm just gonna hold tens right now. Still in that warm up zone. Single, single, double, knees are soft. So you're one, other side one, now together, both. Nice, single, single, double here.
Very good. I'm gonna go up a little bit in my weight just to the 12 pounds for that double row. Okay. Little pulse and row, little and all the way up. Nice flat back. So your little pulse, big squeeze. Little pulse, big squeeze. That's it. And up. Little and up. Back to those fives, lighter weight for my pec deck, front press, pec deck, front press. All right, arms are here. We'll squeeze and press. So you're here, press over the chest. Great. Fighting gravity, that is painful. 10 more seconds though here. We're moving to that standing ab. Ooh, that's fire, good, set those down. I'm just gonna grab two pound dumbbells, nice light weights for my side crunch, right here, and then straight kick, same side until I call half. So we crunch and we kick, boom. Out to the side and cross. All right, switch your side, crunch wide, and cross and punch. We're gonna go into a goblet squat here. I'm gonna hold my 20. Goblet squat, feet shoulder width. Working glutes. And we drop and drive. Moving to quads, I'm gonna do an alternating front lunge. Ooh, 15s, alternating legs, shoulders back, nice and tall, and we drop and switch.
I'm gonna stick with these 20s, or oh, 15s rather, for my deadlift. All right, nice and slow in the descent. And then pop it up, knees are soft, reach your hips back. Here we go, and we're slow. Two, three, and one. Good, going into that plie pulse. I'm gonna hold a heavier weight, maybe a 25 here. Pulse at the bottom. Turn the toes out and knees are over the toes. And we're low pulse and drive and squeeze. Little inner thigh here. Right, going into your calf raises. Whew. I'm gonna hold these 15s up on my shoulders and we're just driving it up to your tiptoes. All the way up and we lift and lift. That's it. Add up now, last five seconds. We're back up to the top, back to shoulders. I'm gonna do a lawn mower. So a little front shoulder, a little rear shoulder, a little bit of glutes too. I'll call halfway, then we'll switch sides. Drop low and sweep and press. Last here, switch sides. All right, we're gonna hit biceps and triceps this round. Holding my 12s. Iso hold, single side. I'll call halfway, we'll switch the iso hold. All right, so only one side is working. Full range of motion. Other side is holding at that 90 degrees. Switch sides. Whew.
take it down to the ground for triceps. We'll hit a tricep press, overhead tricep extension. Palms are facing. You're gonna be straight up, bend at the elbow, and then back to the ground. Push it up, back, up, and down. Set those down. Stay down here for your uh, princess sit up. I'll call halfway, we'll switch. One leg is straight, one knee is bent, toe on the ground. Full sit up if you can. Here we go. And we lift up. Switch legs. Stay down here for the advanced clamshell. All right, on your side. You're gonna come up to that bottom leg, lift, squeezing glutes on both sides, a little inner thigh and outer thigh. Here we go, and we lift, I'll call half. Good rapid fire here. One more here. Switch, let's go. Staying down here for that bear crawl for quads. All right, this is fire. Front and back crawl. I want you to hover in that tabletop position. Arm and leg step forward and back at the exact same time. Hover, and we just step, 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 and backward. All right, stay down here for glutes on your back. I'm gonna use my dumbbells to put my feet on, but you can put them on the floor. Single side glute press. All right, one leg up, one foot on your dumbbell or floor. Press right here and I'll call half. Good, focusing on that isolated glute right to the ceiling up, let's go. One more here, switch legs. You'll stay on your back for that hamstring march. Stay down here. All right, 
You're gonna put your feet as far away from your bottom as you can, and we're alternating that march, really targeting hamstrings on this one. Bum up. All right, and we press up, switch, up. Good. When your feet are close to your bottom, it's more glute. A nice depth here. We are lengthening through the hamstring right here and having to sustain body weight on that single outstretched hamstring makes it activate. This is good. Standing up for that tibialis raise. If you don't have a wall to lean on, just give me some toes up. Otherwise, try to stand a foot away from your wall. Toes are up here. And we lift and lift. You're working that tibialis anterior. Such a good way to train the lower part of the leg so that it's available to you for knee support, right for starting and stopping, for catching yourself when you have a fall. If you want more challenge, walk your feet out. Hmm, I don't, <laughs> it's hard. Should be doing this every day. Fire. All right, back to shoulders. I'm gonna grab my eights for that front lateral combo. One out to the side, one to the front. You can go lighter. Don't rotate the torso. Knees are soft. Pop, switch. Great, I'm gonna grab 12s for my reverse fly row combo. So we'll hit both, working the back of our back muscles there. All right, row and fly. So we row, then round, reverse fly there. Row and fly, don't bob. I'm gonna grab my 15s for the pinwheel curls. All right, crossing in front, flexing the bicep at the top. Stick your chest out and knees are soft here. Curl in front and flex, switch.
taking these 15s to the ground for my circle chest press. If you can't get the circle, you just do a regular press. Palms start facing the chin. Then we create a circle and turn away to the ceiling. Here we go. Circle up and press over the chest. Come back down in that circle formation. And these are a little light for me, so I'm just gonna increase my pace a bit to try and bring fatigue to that chest muscle here. Nice. Tricep pulse press. So palms are facing. We'll do a little pulse at the bottom. Full range press. All right. Again, I'm holding the 15s. This will be a challenge. Little pulse and we're up. Full range press. Little pulse up to press. All right, set those down. We'll do our ab down here, then we'll stand for the rest of the legs, but you're gonna do a hip hop leg extension. You can single leg extend to modify. All right, pop the hips, here we go. And ceiling, bend and extend. All right, up you get. Reverse lunge, knee drive. I'll call halfway. I'm gonna hold these 15s. Focus on that glute, super tall. Same side. Here we go, low and drive here. Last one on this side, switch legs. All right, front squat, targeting quads. I'm gonna rack the 15s. Drop it low, feet shoulder width. Let's go. And you're down and drive. I want your body, like your shoulders and your hips to be like one unit. Okay, moving up at the same time.
holding 115 for that side lunge twist. I'll call half and then we'll switch. Nice low lunge, little torso twist there. Reach your hips back, lunge, twist, good. Last one on this side. Switch your leg. Grabbing a heavier weight for my single dumbbell deadlift. Get a 30. All right, wide stance, pause at the bottom, flat back. And we hinge and pause and drive and squeeze. Don't arch the back at the top. Reach, reach, up. Okay, last exercise, back to calves. We're gonna do a plie, releve, up on the tiptoes if you can. Otherwise you can heel lift or join me here. We're gonna pulse. Okay, this is a little inner thigh, a lot of calf, and a good opportunity to practice balance, stability, core activation as well. Work hard. Twenty seconds left. Fire now. Oh, shaky, 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 shaky. Less than ten. You can do this. Try to stay in the pocket. Whoo! In three, two, one, and done. Ooh, you move daily in your head to toe. No repeat strength workout. That was great. Join for a stretch if you can. Join me on the ground for our stretch today. Let's start with a seated hamstring stretch. Nice lengthening of that hamstring. Hinge forward there. Very good. All right, so obviously you knew that this was a no repeat workout. I'm wondering if you can see the value for muscle growth and adaptation when we come back to the same exercise. Uh, I thought this was fun because it switched things up, different exercises, variety, quickness, sort of head to toe all at once, but I also didn't feel super fatigued in any one area, right? So this might be a good workout if you did have a quite a strenuous, long repeating workout in the week, maybe yesterday, and you wanted to do something today, but not too strenuous, I think this would be a good, a good follow-up workout. Now for muscle growth, there was no fatigue for me. There was no I didn't have, I had so many reps left in reserve. And what I mean by that is I could have kept going and going and going. So because of the pace using a timer, I'm not able to lift super heavy in between because that would require longer rest periods. So there really is that value in getting the three repeating workout or uh, sets, even four and five sets will definitely give a greater adaptation to the muscle. So. As always, what's your top target? If your target was just to move your body, then you're winning. But if your target is to build lean muscle, uh, I don't. this would not be my choice of workout in order to do that. This is great for muscle maintenance. We're using the muscles, it's great. But if you actually had that in your mind to build, you would need to increase uh, the sets 
uh, decrease the pace, increase the weight, right? Even lighter weights, but higher volumes or longer duration would work as well. So lots of ways to build muscle uh, and lots of ways to move your body. The biggest factor in my opinion is doing something that you enjoy and that you're going to put on repeat because if you don't come back to it, well, then it's never gonna work. So if this is something that you'd like to throw in from time to time just for fun, uh, maybe you went for a run and you wanted something that was a, like a total body workout, you know, a little bit of everything on the muscles, then I think this is great to add into that. Anyway, that's just my two bits. <laughs> I was gonna say, what do I know? But I do know. I've been a trainer for 15 years and that is, uh, that's how you do it. All right. Thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you all in the next workout.